Hey everybody, Josh here. I wanted to share a tip today that comes from one of our friends in our SketchUp forum named Dave Richards. He goes by Dave R in the forum. And this method is kind of a workaround for small geometry. And he didn't necessarily invent this. Perhaps he did, who knows? I don't think anybody knows where it uh, initially came from. Uh, but it's been around for a long time. It's a trick to help SketchUp create some small geometry. So thanks Dave for spreading the news about this tip and uh, let's take a look in this model that I've got here and, and see how we can explore um, how you might use this method in SketchUp. Okay, so we have a table here and let's go underneath and take a look at a hinge that we have here and some screws that are pretty small that uh, you might want to add to a hinge like this. So pretty small geometry. Let's take a look and see how we might do this. We've got some geometry set up here for the follow me tool. So I'll choose the path, go to the follow me tool, hit the profile and something weird happened. The geometry is just totally gone. There's nothing happening there. Something ain't right there. If you're a, a fan of the Marvel movies, you might uh, think this has something to do with the quantum realm. I don't know. Who knows what's going on there? Let's explore this with a couple of copies here. So I'm going to slide this out half of an inch, maybe make two copies, and also scale this one up by a factor of 1.5. And we'll scale this one up by a factor of 2, just to kind of explore these other options here of scaling up a component from the outside. So if, you, if I double click in here and do the same thing again, you'll see there's still components, instances of this component. So they're going to reflect the same changes that I make to the small one here. So there we go. Nothing's happening. Let's do the same edit to this component that's scaled up by 1.5. So we've got some geometry created there, but it's still not the full piece of geometry we're looking for. So let's try that again on the component that was scaled up by a factor of two. Jump in here, follow me tool. So there we go. It's getting created now, the whole piece of geometry, even over here on this smaller component. So you can see we had to do this geometry creation or follow me tool operation on the component that was larger for the geometry to be created down here at the smaller size. So a little bit weird if you're ever working with small geometry in SketchUp and you see weird things happening, you're probably going to have to do this to get the geometry created in the right way. So I'm going to undo all the way back to the point here before I made those copies and show you how you would do this. You know, when you're really working on this, you might do a copy of this component off to the side and scale it up by a factor of, I usually try 10 first. So there's 10, you know, let's say in this case we want to do maybe 100. And we'll zoom out a bit and take a look. You know, we're kind of exaggerating this, this work around here. But it doesn't matter. The point is you're going to work with the geometry at a larger scale for it to happen at that smaller scale. So let's go in here and do it real quick. You're kind of getting the idea, I think, here. There we go. There's that geometry created in this large, huge component. And then down here, it's all good. It made it. In some ways, you kind of think this is a remote control SketchUp. You're doing some geometry creation up here, and it's happening in the component instance down there. And you actually don't even need this big component anymore because these components are still looking good down there. And let's do this uh, another time on some wine glass geometry here, just real quick. Here's the smaller geometry. There's the path. There's the profile. Not all of that's getting created. Let's go to one that's a little bit bigger. There's the path and there's the profile. We're still missing some geometry there. You can see SketchUp's having some trouble in those tiny curves there. And then on the larger one here, it's going to work out better for us. Looks pretty good. If I turn on hidden geometry, you can see, okay, now it was able to create those edges and faces and that small tight curves there. So that's kind of the basic idea. You're just going to need to scale up your geometry in some cases. And let's take a look at some stuff from Dave here, some of Dave's models. And I just want to point out real quick, some places where Dave might have used this method uh, in these threaded rods here, the threaded parts of this rod might want to use that method. A lot of uh, tiny corners here in this geometry where it could have been a useful thing to use the curves in there. So lots of models could certainly use this method. And again, it's mainly for small geometry. Maybe here where the threads, the holes are kind of punched through there. So there we go. Basic idea is just uh, if you see weird stuff with small geometry in SketchUp, it probably has something to do with you're going to need to scale it up, do the same, uh, maybe the follow me tool or whatever you're doing in a larger scale and scale it back down. Or like I showed, make a component of that thing, scale the component up 
and have that component instance that's smaller reflect the changes that are made in the larger one. So hope that works for you and helps you out. Thanks for watching. Bye.